It's amazing that the credibility of this channel now falls on the final eight games of this season, which we're just going to call the final eight, because I can't think of anything more dramatic to say, and it's pretty shit, isn't it? But even though the title for the next four episodes isn't the greatest, we're going to try our best with it. So, would you like to roll on the clip? Final eight. Yeah, actually, I don't think that's helped because that's put me under more pressure now. In the last episode, we lost to Man City at home by two goals to nil, which didn't really affect the relegation battle too much as we were still outside it even though we lost. Uh, and now we move on to the final eight games of the season, which are going to be split into four episodes of two games each, if that makes sense. But the two games we're going to be focusing on in this episode is Tottenham away and Everton at home. And Tottenham away is a game that I already know I'm going to lose. Uh, so I'm not sure why I've put it in this episode and Everton at home is a game that I think I can win and that would be very embarrassing if I lose that as well but realistically the three games that I'm looking to win are Brentford at home, Newcastle away and Watford at home because they're the three teams who are around where I am the other five teams that I've got to play are nowhere near where I am and they're going to batter us but with nothing really to report between the Man City game and the Tottenham game and technically I wanted to focus on the two games anyway uh, we do move on to the game away at the New White Hot Lane as they call it I mean could they come up with a better name in goal once again is Ben Walker still I mean when's that ever going to change priority look 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 when Jordan Pickford starts performing and Bournemouth stop giving me a shit offer 1.4 million to buy him then I'll start playing Jordan Pickford with Lamina Kone obviously injured from the Man City game it means Florin Gardosh has to play a centre back alongside Johnny Evans who has got a lot of criticism this year probably unjust criticism as well the midfield five is pretty much the same as the last episode except Andrea Polly replaces Fabian Delph in the centre midfield position and of course is the only striker that I have at my disposal who's both match fit and scores goals Ennis now welcome to the club who by the way has won young player of the month for the fourth time this season and yet he's not even in the running for young player of the year and finally moving on to the seven players that were good enough to make the Sunderland first 11 are the players that are probably not going to be playing for us next year yeah, there was a problem for the first 15 minutes of the game where the game was glitching quite a bit and the players' limbs weren't moving even though they were running. Uh, so I ended up having to restart the recording software again. Uh, Tottenham scored a penalty in that meantime. So we're actually essentially starting this game 1-0 down, which is not really a surprise anyway. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I, I don't know what my team are doing. It's Tottenham away. We're losing again. And uh, Ericsson, it's a great save by Costil. Uh, they've had eight shots. We haven't even had a single one, and it's 17 minutes gone. I mean, whose bright idea was it to record the last eight games, starting off with Tottenham away, the team I can't even score against, let alone beat? I mean, Tottenham have had 12 shots, and we still haven't had one. I'm, I'm going to try and guess uh, how many shots it's going to take for Tottenham to have before we finally have one. I'm going to say about 15. Look, we actually had a chance there, but Donsar decided to run into the centre instead of going after the second ball. And now Tottenham are on the counter-attack. Like... Any, any danger, maybe? Balde hits it over. I mean, Ennis now is having to do a lot of work up from here by himself. Like, just chasing the ball and uh, running with it. And, uh, oh, we finally had a shot on goal. Well done. I mean, it didn't it didn't go on target or trouble the keeper, but we actually had a shot. It was the blocked out for a, a throw-in, but it counts. This is actually painful. I mean, like, people are probably finding it very painful to watch. Imagine trying to manage this side and expecting your team to do anything. I mean, they've got players like Lacazette in this side, and then who have I got? Florine Gardos. What, that's a player who couldn't even get into the Southampton team? I mean, my assistant manager said, oh, that was a great first half. Let's have more to say. What, another 20 Tottenham shots? That wasn't a good first half. How can he even say that? The, the fetus attitude here at Sunderland is astounding. And I'm part to blame for that. Oh, look, this is probably the furthest forward we've been, and we're probably going to get countered from it as well. Yep, yeah, look, look, they just cleared the ball forward, and then and suddenly it's two on one. Like, And he's just run past both of you. What the fuck is that? We're probably the only team in the Premier League to have a throw-in so far into their half and somehow get counter-attacked in 20 seconds and then concede. Wow, I mean, I just... I bloody hate playing Tottenham. Like, why can't we just... Why can't they get relegated? We've got a penalty. We've actually got a penalty. What's going on? Please score it. Like, we don't deserve a goal, but please just score it. If he misses... It sums it all up. And I'm just going to skip forward to the end of the game. We're going to play the next game against Everton. Please, Ennis Uno. He makes it 2-1. We're back in the game. That was a deserved equal um, consolation goal. 
Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Demand more. It's a superb penalty. Maybe that's what we should be doing. Just boot the ball in the box and just dive and get some penalties. Oh, we actually might have a chance. And Costage. What is that? Like, sorry, how comes their play? How comes Lacazette runs onto that and yet my player doesn't? Oh, Lamela is through on goal. It's a good save, but Lacazette 3 1. Fuck this game. Oh, Lacazette 4 1. He's got a hat trick. I mean, I, I said at the start that Harry Kane wasn't playing. So I was like, oh, actually, we might have a chance now until I saw Lacazette was up front and Lacazette scores a hat trick against me. What a surprise! Wanyama's taken another pot shot. I would love to know how many shots Wanyama's had. I think he's had more than my entire team put together. Like, the, the great results we've had recently as well. I've actually done well for my goal difference. Until I played Man City and Tottenham in two games in a row. And we've been battered by both of them. And now my goal difference is back to normal. Finally, it's over. We've lost 4-1 to Tottenham. What a surprise. I've said that about five times, which is actually, surprisingly, the same amount of shots we had. Let's see how many shots uh, uh, Victor Wanyama had. Apparently, I, I mean, I can't say, he had seven shots. So Victor Wanyama had seven shots. I've had five. Like, as a team. Now, I've only made two changes to the team that faced Tottenham. Uh, as we take on Everton now at home. And Lamina Kone returns in the centre of defence as he's come back from injury. Uh, bear in mind that this game takes place two weeks after the Tottenham game. So he, obviously he had time to recover. And Didier Ndong plays in front of the defence instead of Paddy McNair. And also there's the sub bench if you actually really do care. But I don't think any of you really do. Yeah, I've just found out that Reading beat Crystal Palace in injury time to take themselves out of relegation zone. And now I'm below Brentford, who drew their last two games, so they're going to bomb me on points. Great, I'm back down to 19th again, and I've got to beat Everton. Talk about pressure. Everton are playing pretty safely. Uh, Belhandar is uh, playing behind the Kaku. Uh, Belhandar, who used to play for Nice and Kiev. I mean, is he really worth worrying about but this game was originally meant to be played on my birthday and they moved it for tv reasons onto monday night great so now i can get embarrassed on tv instead of being embarrassed on my birthday which i have been for the last 22 years oh and uh kone oh it, well we've got a shot on target within the first minute of the game i mean we've already done better than the tottenham game altogether and uh, we get the ball and this oh he was right in front of goal how has he missed He's got to put those chances away. And since it was Kone, he's hit the bar. Oh, no, 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 no. I know how this game is going to end up now. I know exactly how this game is going to end up. And it's going to say Sunderland nil, Everton 1. I think we all know it's going to end like that. We've hit the bar. We've dominated this game. Dominated possession. And it's 0-0. Nil -nil. Finds Schneiderlin. He finds Belhando. He finds space and hits it over the bar. As I said, we do not have to worry about Belhanda at all. Either is Enesu now, who's not playing very well. So, meet Sheet, you're coming on. Just just do something. We need a goal. Just one goal will galvanise our season. This could be the moment. We'll look back on this season and say, this is the one that kept us up. Oh, God. Like, I mean, we are so far up here. If we get counter-attacked from this. Oh, and Dong... Oh, great. It's just a yellow. Brilliant. Like, it's just basically them getting a red card. I don't want that. Like, fair enough, they're under 10 men, but I want a chance. Not a, them getting a red card, because how's that going to help us in the... Oh, jeez. Christ. It's just free kick after free kick, and there's nothing happening. We're going to draw Everton at home, who... I can't believe this. I mean, oh, no, no, not like this. Not like this. Oh, my God, they've got a penalty. They, uh, fuck off. Like, ah. Uh, oh. Baines to win the game for Everton. End the episode. Just end it. Just end it. I mean, there's, there's going to be a lot of you watching this thinking, you know, I'm glad I didn't do a song that save. Yes. Yeah, I think I'm glad that I've uh, done this on YouTube because now I've just proven that I just can't manage anything. Please, it's the final chance. No one's there. Great. Well done. Well done, lads. I mean, we're in a relegation battle. You're not even trying anymore. That's it. Game over. We're, we're getting relegated. It's, it's happening. It's happening. We're getting relegated now. You can't lose to 10 men. And it's going to say Sunderland nil, Everton 1. Oh, great. Oh, great.